Hello friends, welcome back to the Whimsy Stamps YouTube channel. Amanda here. I want to share with you these two quick and simple cards using some pattern paper. I hope you enjoy. Let's get into it. So these cards are super easy to create. Um, Whimsy Stamps has an amazing array of uh, pattern paper products that are already cut to A2 sized cards and you can make quick and simple cards, easy, and if you need them in a hurry, this is a really good design. So I've just got some vellum here and I'm taking a couple of greetings um, and I'm going to heat emboss them on this to make kind of like a band to go around the little pattern paper uh, card here. And that's gonna be a really easy way to add a greeting without um, you know, having to stamp on anything or die cut anything. You don't have to get your die cutting machine out. Um, you don't have to do anything else other than do a little bit of stamping and you're good to go. So I'm just going to stamp these down using some uh, sticky embossing ink. And then I'm also going to use some gold embossing powder from my stash to just kind of add a little bit of shine and shimmer to these cards. Um, the pattern paper pack that I am using is called the Sympathy Bouquet 2. And there's a lot of really pretty images in this. They also have another one. Uh, another sympathy bouquet set um, that's got some like purple colored flowers in it which would be fun as well so you could take these and make a whole um, set of cards it took me less than 15 minutes to create so if you had all of your little greetings already done you could knock these out in no time so i'm heating up my heat gun here because whenever you do any kind of embossing on vellum you want to make sure that your heat gun is good and hot um, so that it melts the embossing powder really quickly because vellum has a tendency to burn if the heat's on it too long. Um, so you want to move your heat gun around a lot and make sure it's really, really hot so that it melts that embossing powder super quickly and doesn't burn or scorch the actual paper itself. And I really love these scripty greetings here. These are from Sympathy Life Goes On stamp set. And I really love the big, bold um, scripty greetings in this. I felt like they were the perfect size and um, design for these two cards. I love that they are kind of just um, an open-ended kind of card. You know, if you're thinking of somebody, I left the insights blank so you could write your own message. So one of them says, thinking of you, and the other one says, I'm here for you. So um, really great um, kind of everyday you know thinking of somebody cards that you need to send or have right on hand for somebody you know if they have a loss or anything like that um they're not the my favorite cards to have to make but you always kind of need something like that on hand once i have um, those all heat embossed and they're nice and dry i'm going to use my paper trimmer here and just trim these out into big strips so that i can wrap them around as bands around the actual main part of the card I'm very careful with my paper trimmer here. This is um, a huge paper trimmer and it is extremely sharp. I actually cut my fingers a few years ago, had to get stitches with it, so I'm always very cautious. I don't use it very often. Um, I usually pre-cut everything and have everything cut and ready to go so I don't have to pull it out, but in certain situations when I do, I'm always very careful. Now that I have those all ready to go here, I'm going to adhere the main floral panels here, which are cut to an A2 size. So they're actually sized five and a half by four and a quarter. And um, I did trim them down just a tiny bit more so that I could have a nice gold mat around the outside. So this is just some gold cardstock from my stash. Um, you can use any kind of cardstock that you have. I just felt like the gold went really well with the color tones in these panels and it was just a nice way to add a little bit of interest to the cards instead of them being just somewhat plain. I'm going to go ahead and adhere those down with some liquid glue and um, that just gives me a little bit of a wiggle room to get everything kind of in place and situated correctly. That's why I really like using liquid adhesive because it really helps kind of give you an opportunity to move things around if need be. So that adds just a really nice simple sheen around the outside of the card. And I really, really like these. Um, I think they're super pretty. Um, they would make really pretty just artwork. You know, put them in like little frames and, you know, like a gold frame and hang them on your wall. I think those would be really pretty as well. Really, really pretty artwork. Once I have those down there, I'm going to do the actual bands. So all I'm doing is just kind of figuring out where I want them to be placed on the actual card themselves. And once I'm happy with that, I'm going to just hold them as straight as possible. And then I'm going to wrap the loose ends around the back of the card 
and I'm going to tape it down with some adhesive, just some regular old scotch tape. Nobody's going to see this once we adhere it to our card base. So you can use any kind of tape if you've got washi tape, anything like that. And that way that it stays in place and it kind of still gives you that look that they're kind of floating. You don't have to add any adhesive to the back of the little panel um, because you can see adhesive through vellum. So this is a really fun way to do that. I really think this is uh, just a really simple, easy um, card to create. Once I get those two panels all, um, or excuse me, the two bands on my panels, I'm going to adhere them down to their card bases. Again, these are top folding A2 size card bases. And um, I was going to add some other embellishments to these, but I decided just to leave them the way that they are. The little bit of gold that's on there and the florals themselves are enough. I think that it just makes for a really simple card. You don't have to go too crazy with something like this. And that will finish up these two cards for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed these super simple, quick um, sympathy thinking of you cards using some great products. Um, all of the products that I use will be listed down in the description below and will be available over on the Whimsy Stamp, Whimsy Stamps website. If you enjoyed the video, please consider hitting the like button as well as the subscribe so you don't miss out on any more videos here at the Whimsy Stamps YouTube channel. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks again for stopping by and I'll catch up with you guys again real, real soon. Bye.